Hey there everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome to a new LP! That's right, this is Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. I decided to do a little quick 2D Mario platforming in between uh, Pokemon Train Card Game and Bowser's Inside Story because, hey, it's Super Mario 3D Land came out like a couple weeks ago, and this would have been perfectly timed if I didn't get sick for like two weeks, and that kind of sucked. But hey, uh, so we're going to start with File 1. As usual for most DS games, this is going to be post-commentary, which is kind of silly for a 2D platform, but whatever, I will do it anyway because I'm crazy. But you guys already know that because you watch my videos. So here we are. Mario's taking a stroll with the princess because for some strange reason he still hangs out with her. I mean, you think by now with all the kidnapping that's happening, you know, he'd move, but oh my god, lightning storms. Crazy shit is happening. You can kind of see all the little toads there just dying. They're like, oh my god, and then Bowser Jr. kidnaps the princess. Mario, you think you know by now not to leave the princess alone for two seconds because it doesn't really work like that. You'll just, you'll just get kidnapped, you'll turn to small Mario because somehow... I don't know, it is kind of weird seeing small Mario, like, back in, like, um... I guess in this whole 3D thing, like, as you guys know, New Super Mario Bros. is, um, the sort of revamp of the 2D platforming, which is continued then to New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and I'll actually say that the 2D platforming ironically continues in Super Mario, um, 3D Land. Even though Super Mario 3D Land is a 3D game, it feels like, you know, an extension of New Super Mario Bros. So, perfect timing for this game, really. Um, and... In terms of the handheld platformers, I think this is probably my favorite one. Sorry, Super Mario 3D Land. Sorry, all the remakes of like Super Mario World and whatnot, but this game is just awesome. I do love this game. I would say the Wii version's better. I mean, obviously, it's a completely different game. But this is still an amazing revamp of the 2D platforming. As you can see, there's a new mechanic here. Um, I should probably explain things first. Um, obviously, um, you can press Y to run and B to jump. And then you get items like this one, which will cause you to become big. You really don't see this item that much, but... um. You can destroy things. Do not break that pipe. I'll explain why in a second. Um, but you'll get lives depending on how much carnage you cause as Massive Mario. And that's a good thing. So, carnage is always a good thing. Who can hate carnage? Um, but as you can see, you can get star coins. This is sort of the introduction of uh, the star coin mechanic that was continued onwards into all the other platformers. Um, pretty much so on and so forth. Even Galaxy 2 kind of has it. Um, but you get three star coins per level. Um, obviously, you can see we've missed the third one, so we, I came back to get the second one. You just win the pipe! Get the star coin, you idiot! What the hell? Um... So... Let's completely not fail the first level. Let's go back, get that one. Um, do not break that pipe if Big Mario, it's a big mistake a lot of people do, is they break that pipe, and you will not be able to come back here and get the second star coin. So... Make sure you do that. Um... So, let's go ahead and take this moment now while I get the star coin again quickly. Oh, well, I already did. But, um, let's take this moment quickly and talk about how I'm going to run this LP. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to do two videos per world I'm going to try to fit in. Maybe later worlds I'll do three. But, um, for the most part, I'm going to try to do about half the first world in this one, half the second one. But I'm going to space it so the videos are even. I'm not going to have any set endpoint for, like, the midpoint of a world. Um, so that's stage one, one for you. By the way, I love the music in this game. It's really awesome. Um, stay with you one, two. Um, so yeah, two videos per world. Now, uh, the, another thing is, um, well, as you can see, you can see power-ups, by the way. Um, you can shoot the fireballs of Y. Um, we saw the, the big Mega Mario already. It's the first instance of the Mega Mushroom, by the way. Well, the, of that version of the Mega Mushroom, at least. Or the Mega Mushroom in a 2D platformer. The other new one is Shell Mario. Now, I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys here. I don't like Shell Mario that much, or Koopa Mario, or I forget the official name for it. But I, I'm not a big fan of it. What happens is, if you run, you will automatically start spinning, and you'll pretty much be invincible while you're in this mode, besides for, like, from pits and lava and stuff like that. Um, you won't be able to take... You, not, not many things will be able to hurt you, and you can also press um, duck to automatically go in your shell and be invincible as well, so that's cool. But you're also automatically going at this pace, and you can press down to stop it. It's kind of awkward to stop the turtle shell. Um, so for the more, like, intensive platforming segments where you can make very finesse jumps, it really does mess up your momentum because they kind of run. If you start running too fast, you get kind of screwed up. As I just demonstrate the shell right there. It's a nice power, but it's a nice defensive power, but it's nice in levels like this where there's not much pit in the main pits or anything. But for the most part, for a lot of the uh, more, like, um, well, for example, the stage after this is going to be um, kind of tricky um, to do with Shell Mario. So there's a lot of instances where it doesn't, it kind of impedes you more than it helps you. That being said, um, in this level certainly is good. You do want to get a shell early on in this game, actually, because um, one of the uh, levels actually are going to require you to get a shell for a secret exit. At, no, you don't, need it, you don't need it for a star coin, but you do need it for a secret exit, so make sure you do grab the shell. Um, speaking of secret exits, there actually is one in this level, and I'm going to try to get the secret exits first in each world before I get them. 
Um, I guess this is the one, one of the other big complaints I have about this game, and maybe Super Mario Bros. Wii didn't really do too much of, is it really requires you to have certain items that aren't necessarily final level. Like, sometimes you do need the shell, and you, there's no really good way to get the shell in this um, game besides those question mark uh, boxes that you can get to spawn at the beginning of the level, and some other certain scenarios. But, um, as you can see, if you do the classic 1-2 uh, from the original Mario and jump over the level, you'll end up at the secret exit and the third star coin, so make sure you do that. And that will be stage 1-2. I'll obviously go back in a little bit to finish it. However, now what I'm normally going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to get the secret level, and then I'm going to cut back to where I was at, like, you know, the latest point in that level um, for the regular part, and then do that. However, I'm going to sort of skip, uh, change this formula for just this one case, because like I said, you need a shell or the end in order to get a secret exit. And since I have a shell now, I'm actually going to go to that level and get that secret exit um, and sort of skip ahead a little bit. Because, um, well, what you normally want to do is you want to try to get a shell from this item house right here. Or is there one, another one over here? That's oh, a life house. Um, it's a life house, that's a band. Anyway, um, so you want to try to get a shell from that one if you're not lucky enough like I was. I'm just extremely lucky to get a shell at that point. That usually doesn't happen. Very lucky to get Shell Mario here. But I'm going to skip ahead to the tower level, which um, every about halfway in the world there's going to be a tower level where you'll fight bosses and stuff like that. Well, a boss doesn't really change too much in this game. Um, unlike other ones where the tower levels and, and we were always different with the different Koopalings. This one generally stays the same, but um, I, I do like this first tower level. It's a vertical level, which is um, very different. I mean, this, they've done vertical levels in plenty of Mario games before, but this one is... I think it's an interesting one, there's lots of blocks. It is kind of tough to do this one with Shell Mario, but you do need Shell Mario in order to get the secret. So I'm going to go ahead, get the secret now, and then I'll go ahead and continue normally, and I'll actually do this level again at the end in order to uh, get back here. So about the midpoints where you need to get to, I just do an awesome wall, uh, wall jump there. You can wall jump off the wall uh, by pressing the jump button while you're sliding on the wall like that. So you do some wall jumping here to get up here, even just because I'm a badass like that. That star coin you saw over there, I'll get that one later, don't worry about it. Um, I forget if this is the third or the second one now. Normally you'll just go through that door and you'll return back to the main area, but if you go over there, there's actually a secret passage with a life! And a section where you actually need Shell Mario, so make sure you get some speed. You can only... <coughs> I still have a cough. Apologies for that. Um, you do need uh, the Shell Mario to get through those two blocks. Um, there's really no other way to do it. I can't think of any other way you would go about doing that. So, um, basically, you do that and you'll actually end up at the secret exit, which is important. So, going a little out of order just because of my good luck and getting this right now, and that's fine and dandy. I'm gonna try to get um, enough of my time to get a life here. Come on, come on, come on! There we go! Uh, obviously, if you get uh, to the top of the flagpole, you will get a life, so try to do that for as many levels as you can. And whenever you see a red flag like that, that is a secret exit. Now, what the secret exit will lead you to is the first cannon! Now, cannons are your, um, I know, you know how in most Mario games they have, um, had a way to skip, um, worlds? This is your way, this is your magic whistle of New Super Mario Bros. Um, now I'm gonna skip ahead, uh, to about the halfway point, just so I can go ahead. I don't want, you don't need to see the entire level again. Even though this is already a pretty short video, I'm just gonna get into the habit now of skipping ahead, because in later videos, I'm gonna need to do this in order to save time. You guys don't need to see this level all over again. If you want to see it again, just, just rewind the video a little bit, and you'll be right there, so... Not a big problem. Ah, my voice is still, like, a little finicky, but at this point I'm like, I haven't recorded in, like, two friggin' weeks. Screw this, I'm recording. Because I have been so excited. I've, like, recorded this footage, like, three weeks ago, and I've been like, YES! Do some Mario Bros! I'm so excited! And then, it, like, and then see, this is like, LOL, no patrol face JPG. And that was unfortunate. Now, um, you'll also find these little doors where you can actually spend the star coins you find in each world in order to get, um... These little secret areas, I guess, are usually just life houses. Sometimes there'll be secret levels or um, alternate pathways. Um, by the way, I don't think I ever explained the map controls. If you press L and R, by the way, like I did way back at the beginning, you can scroll and see the entire levels. So, just in case you see them. Unlike uh, New Super Mario Bros. Mario Bros. Wii, the DS1 only has like these horizontal sort of levels. They're nothing really too special. Anyway, life house. Um, basically, you just pick random boxes. They are randomized each time, and you get whatever is inside. This one, I just get a shit ton of lives on, because if you can get those, if you can get uh, the times three mushroom, and then the times two block, that's an instant six lives right there. So I just cleaned up, got a ton of lives. You can keep going until you hit the Bowser block. I think the max you can get is, what, 3 plus 3 times 2, it's 12. You can get 12 lives total, so that's a pretty nice way to get lives. Lives, not a problem in this game, like many other um, of these old Mario ones. Now, I lose this shell. 
Honestly, I'm kind of glad because this isn't really a good level for the shell anyway. These mushroom levels had to be really intense on platforming, so yeah. Uh, these things, so as you saw, those little um, spinny platform things, they will launch you really high and you'll uh, spin around, which somehow by breaking the laws of physics, because Mario breaks the laws of physics, you can spin around and be good. This is sort of like the ex in instructional explanatory episode. Um, so, yeah, I kind of expect a lot of explaining, explaining, and a lot of reacting, reacting in these ones. What the? That is like the stupidest thing I've ever said in any of my videos. Way to give a good first impression. People are going to be like watching this video for the first time, be like, hey, who's this lucky dude? They'll be like, explaining, explaining, and they'll be like, what the hell? He's so weird. Anyway, so the third star coin's right there. We got all the star coins in this level. I mean, these levels are usually pretty quick. I'm very familiar with this game. Not, like, to the point where, like, I'm, like, if I say something wrong, don't call me and be like, Dude, you said you're an expert at this game. What the hell is going on? Blah, blah, blah. Because I don't know everything. I just, this is sort of just a casual, fun playthrough. I'm not going to be, like, super pro. I'm, at later levels, I'm just going to start derping around, probably, because I just like to derp around this game and be like, Let's just screw around, and then I'll end up stupidly killing myself. And you'll be like, Lucky, you're a freaking idiot. And I'll be like, Yep, yep, I am. So I'm going to skip ahead to the halfway point here, because you already saw the beginning of the level. Really, I mean, even though we don't have Shell Mario this time, it doesn't. It still plays pretty similarly. I mean, the shell is. It, it's just you know, just make sure you don't get crushed by these blocks. I mean, they will instantly kill you if you do, so be careful. Um, so this little section not too hard. Just make sure you don't get crushed. Um, jump in enough time. You get you, you get enough time to figure it out. Um, since I haven't explained ground pounding yet, you press down while you're in the midair to ground pound. I'm trying to sort of like remember what controls I need to explain while I'm explaining. Um, that yellow pipe will be where you come out if you do not have the shell and you go in that secret passage. Um, you'll come out where that yellow pipe is. This one is actually, you can die here pretty easily. Um, do not go right when it opens. Go a little bit before it opens or else you're going to get caught and it's going to squish you and you're going to die. So be careful with that. Now, um, here's Bowser Jr. He will be your boss for every tower level ever. Uh, there's two variations of him. The first one is pretty simple. Just jump on him. He'll hide in his shell. Do not jump on his shell. It's spiky. It'll hurt you. You can also use the fire flower to burn him as well, so that's cool as well, I guess. And that's how you kill him. So this is the first episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, um, not Wii DS. Um, this is Lucky 7 DX signing out. In the next episode, we're going to take on the second half of World 1 Tower. Hope you guys are enjoying this LP. Hope I didn't cough too much. My voice doesn't sound too weird. Start another LP again of weird voice, but whatever. Um, I will see you guys next time. You can also save after this and every star coin, so we'll do that. Um, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.